Okay, so if you remember, in volume one, we discussed that all vowel sounds stem from the ah. It's the la, ah, except two vowels. That's e and u. We're not going to go into that. If you want to know about that, go all the way back to volume one, check it out. I'm hoping that if you're watching this video now, you've gone through the stages and you didn't go straight to head voice because um, this is absolutely critically important. Don't even get, ask for your money back and take this back because um, you're, if you develop your head voice and, and you haven't developed the chest or call register first, your voice will atrophy. I'm not here to scare you, I'm here to tell you the truth. I've spent a lifetime doing this. We want to develop our chest voice first, our big chest call register first. Make it nice and strong and then our head voice and then learn to fuse these things together. If we don't do that, what happens over time is they start to pull apart and they start to atrophy. First, the head voice goes and it starts to get pillowy and soft and goes back to that fluty sound we did a minute ago. Then we start to lose range on our chest voice and there becomes a continental divide or drift between our chest voice and our head voice and we lose all those notes in between and the voice atrophies. If you develop your chest voice and keep it strong and actually can even pull chest all the way through the head and know how to hand it off and know how to create mixed voice, then what happens is, is it stays strong and resilient and it stays, there's moisture that stays in the cord and it stays nice and buff and strong. If you develop your head voice and you're more concerned with your high notes and register and this and that with only your head voice, you're going to find that your voice will break apart in the middle and you're going to get really frustrated over time and eventually you're going to lose the whole mid, mid part of your voice. So please listen to that. Please listen to that. I'm, you know, I've been doing this a long time and I've seen it with almost every singer I know that has, has gone down this road. So um, if you're developing head voice, please develop your chest voice first, then we're going to develop head, then we're going to connect the sound. So with that said, we're going to get started with the first exercise. So. We want to, we, now that we've developed our chest voice from the volumes, we're going to start to come down the register and we're going to start kind of high. You know, if you're, again, if you're just starting out at this, this may be a little high for you. You may not be able to start, but if you're a bear, high berry like me or a tenor and or even in the soprano range, if you're a super gnarly soprano, you can start an octave above this, but we're going to start on the G5. further I want to discuss vowel sounds and why I'm using a. Ah. When we started on volume one I said it's the la a ah, and we always use a. Ah. A ah, we can get its twang but we can get a brighter sound out of a ah first initially. Now do I want you to stay in a ah and only use a? Ah? Absolutely, absolutely not. But I want to start with something that's going to be easy for you to identify because it's either e or a. Ah. But if, because if I go, oh, you're going to notice that ah is harder to get that bright sound initially. It won't be as you start to grow the voice, and I want you to go back to ah because I still want to be consistent with what I said about all vowel sounds stem from ah. But we're going to start with ah, so let's do it again. It's not about volume, it's about tone. So if all you have is and it's, and it's kind of quiet, don't push so much weight into the sound where it overloads the chords and you defeat the purpose of growing them. It would be the equivalent of trying to pick up a bunch of weight right off the bat when you can't handle it. So if you need to start smaller, which we can do.
because chances are you can't go that low, as low as I can go a lot lower with my head voice. As you get lower, you're going to notice a, a decrease in the tone and a decrease in the power and the strength of the sound. So don't, again, don't blow out the chord. Don't over push or don't push um, so hard that you blow out the chord and you're ah! making that sound. Cut back the air, pull back the sound, keep the tone nice and bright. And do this exercise, and we're going to go back up the scale. Occupied with the volume of this. I really want you to focus, listen to your tone, record it if you have to, like on a recorder, a ghetto blaster, anything to be able to listen to this tone and make sure that it's nice and bright and really consistent. <laughs> Just sit out the notes that you can't and just only, and don't get frustrated with yourself. Try to add one in if you can, add two in if you can later. But over time, the voice will grow like a muscle. The voice is a muscle, like any muscle in the body will grow as such. Second thing is, I want you to remember too, um, that if you're doing my workouts, that you do a chest voice workout one day and a head voice workout the second day and a chest voice workout one day, the next day, and a head voice workout the following day. The reason for this is you're going to find that if you did a hard chest workout, that these are harder to get to and might get frustrating and you might think that you're not doing it, but it, it could be that you've worked your chest pretty hard. Just like if you worked your lower body at the gym and then all of a sudden you try to work your upper, upper body. You know how you flip-flop between the workouts like that? It's good to do that initially with the head voice. Then after you start to build both parts of the voice and they become consistent, you can definitely work out the chest and head on the same day. But if you're just getting started, work out the chest voice one day, and then the head voice the next. Let's continue. Ladies, by the way, I want to talk to you about this in a second. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I'm going to let you do that on your own. I'm going to stop with the D5. Okay, so that concludes this part of this. Now let's talk about doing this in different vowel sounds, and we're going to go from there. Here we go. <laughs> 